Rummage through the closet of any woman, or man, and you'll likely find something that has a crocodile skin pattern on it. This leather is often associated with luxury, sophistication, sensuality, and power. Together with other animal prints, crocodile skin is an enduring staple in fashion houses everywhere. Environmental protection laws rightfully regulate the use of crocodile leather on apparel. So to imitate the material, retailers make use of vinyl, print, and other alternatives. But their tradition of wearing crocodile skin design goes way back, as shown through our traditional textiles, particularly among the lumad. What the pattern symbolized ultimately reflected the attitudes and relationship of the locals with this formidable reptile. The history of objects shows how our customs and values have changed over time. This is Object Rewind. Surviving accounts by chroniclers and clergymen from the 16th to the 18th century illustrate how the Indios coexisted with and revered the crocodile. The large reptiles were familiar figures in the locale, residing in rivers where people sourced water, bathed, and fed cattle. The locals believed that within crocodiles resided the spirits of their deities or ancestors, so people wouldn't harm them, even after attacks on humans and domestic animals. In some communities, crocodiles were even believed to be administrators of divine justice, and being killed by a crocodile was brought about by a person's own transgressions. Generally, crocodiles were considered to be equally malevolent and benevolent. These folk attitudes toward crocodiles are reflected in the traditional textile arts of the Lumad peoples of Mindanao, particularly among the Bagobo, Blaan, and Tiboli. Using complex weaving, dyeing, and decorative techniques, their textiles emulate the skin of the crocodile, and with it, the crocodile's fierceness, mystical power, and strength. An example is this Bagobo ensemble, called the Tinangulo, worn traditionally by a Magani or warrior. The texture of the crocodile skin is deconstructed using these white geometric shapes called binutbod. The attire isn't only symbolic of the wearer's power, but is also believed to be a form of protection against evil spirits, likely associated with the role of the crocodile in Bagobo cosmology. Similar to the Bagobo, the Blaan often incorporated geometric crocodile motifs in their clothes to ward off evil spirits. These are found in the abaca skirts called Mabal Tabi, and the intricately beaded women's blouses called Albong Takmon. Heading over to the neighboring grounds of the Tibori people, the crocodile motif appears in the mystical Tinala, one of the sacred ritual cloths produced by their fabled dream weavers. It's worthy to point out how crocodile skin is depicted in Luman textiles, abstracted rather than literal. This example of a progression drawing by Samantha Buckley of the Prince's School of Traditional Arts in London shows how weavers portrayed crocodiles using geometric and biomorphic designs. Our relationship with the crocodile began to change during the Spanish colonial occupation. By the 19th century, crocodiles were associated with evil and greed. Jose Rizal's Noni Metangere and El Filibusterismo used the imagery of the crocodile to allude to the corruption of Spanish friars. It became apparent in Philippine vocabulary when buaya evolved to denote a person figuratively who's extremely greedy or corrupt, often pertaining to politicians. In the American period, the commercial hunting of crocodiles started and populations were steadily depleted until the mid 20th century when interventions were introduced. There are two crocodile species endemic to the Philippines, Crocodilus porosus, or the Indo-Pacific saltwater crocodile, the biggest and most popular of which was the crocodile lolo. This species is being hunted almost to extinction. The other is the smaller, freshwater-dwelling Philippine crocodile, or Crocodilus mindorensis, which is also considered critically endangered. In contemporary fashion, designs that feature crocodile skin are more of a mimicry of its appearance, unlike the abstracted forms found in indigenous design that project its essence. It's rootless. There's no telling what country or culture it originates from. Clothes with crocodile skin design don't exude the same spirituality as in our traditional textiles. But let's not shed crocodile tears. 
Perhaps it's high time we re-examine our relationship with the creature and rehabilitate its reputation. And maybe we should consider that, perhaps from a crocodile's perspective, greed is simply more of a human characteristic.